I noticed just behind you over there, Yeah. there's okay. a K-frame on the ground. Yeah. What's that off? This. Yes. Oh, really? Same as the old one. So, pretty much pretty straightforward. Yep. Uh, I, some people drop the rack, other people leave it in the car. Um, I leave it in the car, just undo the rack, bolts it, mount it to the K-frame, drop the K-frame. Yep. Um, looks as though you can still access all the dump pipe bolts from the top like you could on the last model. So, there's a couple of little odds and ends, bit, a few extras hanging off the bottom of the trans, obviously for the DCT side of stuff. Yep. Um, but I'm pretty confident that our dump pipe will fit straight up to it. How yeah, good. All right, dump pipes. Dump pipe is off next to our aftermarket one. Uh, differences are pretty obvious. We obviously have a three inch 100 cell cat. Uh, it's entirely three inch stainless steel flex join. Uh, meets all the factory mounts, so it'll run with the standard cat-back exhaust system. Uh, we know that they're good for a little bit of power and a little bit of torque, and that also really barkens up the uh, the sound of the car, so see how we go. Can you explain to me what you got yeah, going Yeah, well, I got here? you down here. I know you filmed down here already, but I just wanted to yeah. show you the uh, the way it all fits up to the standard pipe. So, oh, wow. like I mentioned before, we're not even going to do a res delete on this to start with, so that's the standard factory Hyundai midsection and rear muffler. Um, yeah, pick, it'll pick up and retain the factory hanger location, and this is literally it. About to bang the uh, the K frame back on and put it back together, and then it's ready for the dyno. Last trip to the dyno. We go through these graphs. If we could, all right, let's just go from standard. No uni chip, no tune. Okay. All right. Red line is what it made standard. We went through that earlier in the video. Yep. I added an intake. Yep. It dropped a little bit in the top end. Yep. Went up by one pound of boost. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's just that's just what it did. Out of the dump pipe, mm -hmm. was actually very surprised with the result. It picked up uh, nine kilowatts with the dump pipe, a lot down low. The boost came in four five hundred RPM earlier and the boost returned to what it made standard. I just want to clarify for everyone, this is no uni chip, no. just the parts on the car. Correct. So, so you've bought them and you've bolted them on and ran it up and this is a back to back of that. Correct. Uh, but the big difference is going to be in the dump pipe. Bolting on a dump pipe without any form of tune as a 100% standard car, you'll see between, looks like between nine and 10 kilowatts, boost comes in earlier, but it uh, obviously maintains that boost level. The uni chip, dump pipe, and intake. All right, so you can see another huge jump again, especially down low. Torque comes in earlier, obviously. Now we're hitting that 400 newton meter mark like I thought we would, 236 kilowatts. And if I go back to the AFRs, you can see that it's drawn over the top of my factory, my AFR with the air intake, which again is only about 11.5 to one once it comes out of closed loop, which is, again is perfectly safe AFRs. In fact, there's still plenty of room to move in that. Uh, air temps stayed the same. Oh, no perfect. difference. All yeah. right, so there was no variation. Air intake, um, you know, dump pipe, standard. They were all within one degree, two degrees of each other. So, no, next step, we're going to throw some badges on it, yeah? Throw some badges That's on right. it that and the then... customer supplied. Yeah, and, and then, then we're going to go for a, uh, go for a cruise. Go for a burn. All right. Sweet. See ya. Thanks, man. So, on the road test. On the road test, man. How we got it set up at the moment? So this is normal. So this is as it would be with just a dump pipe and then intake. So 186 kilowatts or whatever we said. So no like, uni chip. No uni chip. Oh, oh. So just give it a move for sound sounds. Yeah, they go pretty hard just standard, don't they? Yeah, that goes. It's pretty good. Um, end mode, full power, 236 kilowatts. Yeah. Exhaust, everything's open. All right, let's see here we go. I'm gonna have to bleep out the F word. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this is cool, isn't it? That is really cool. How's the torque steer? Oh, the torque steer in second gear was down oh, the Oh, wow. Wow, that is so much fun. I personally love the DCT option. 
I think uh, I think people think it takes away from the drive, nope. the drivability and everything like that. I personally think it it actually gives you a better drive. Mm -hmm. um, I think you get a lot more fun out of the car. I love the throttle response. Um, you know, even the gear changes sounds cool. So you know, aesthetically, it's it's very pleasing. Um, yeah. Again, uh, now that we've got to have a play with it and, and put some uh, R and D into it, Hyundai's done ex exceptionally well at another really cool platform. So you know, the last model was cool when it first came out, and yep. then they've gone above and beyond with this one. All right. Well, it's um. Let's get some cool shots and finish this video up. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you have been watching our videos, um, like, comment, share, hit the follow button. It really does mean a lot when people do actually follow our content as well. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, just hit us up. If you've got suggestions of videos, please just write the comment section. I don't even care what video it is. You, you could own like a BMW for argument's sake and say, can you do a video on this? And if we get it in, we will do a video for you. So I just want to hear all the feedback. Awesome. Yeah. Right. As Paul mentioned, thanks for watching again, guys. And looking forward to playing around more with the, uh, the facelift model i30. <laughs>